They say the internet does not exist. Maybe it did exist only a short time ago, but now it only remains as a blur, a cloud, a friend, a redirect, or a 404. If it ever existed, we couldn't see it because it has no shape, it has no face, just this name that describes everything and nothing at the same time. Yet, we're still trying to climb on board to get inside, to be a part of the network, to get in on the language game, to show up on searches, to appear to exist. But we'll never get inside of something that isn't there. All this time we've been bemoaning the death of any critical outside position. We should have taken a good look at information networks. Just try to get in. You can't. Networks are all edges, as Bruno Latour points out. We thought there were windows, but actually there are mirrors. In the meantime, we're being faced with more and more information. Not just, you know, information, but the world itself. <clears throat> and a very particular world. You know, a world that wants to harvest our eyeballs, our attentions, our responses, and our feelings. A world that wants to condition our minds and bodies to absorb all the riches of the planet's knowledge. What aren't what what you understanding? <laughs> but yeah. 